The CDDA challenge is notoriously one of the hardest starts in Project Zomboid, making it the perfect start for a new player to have an attempt at. I'm going to be trying my best to survive in this as a learning experience, because everyone knows the more you die, the more you learn, because Project Zomboid is a game about death. So in the CDDA challenge, you start off in a house that's on fire, completely naked with no clothing, sadly. So we have to learn how to survive with absolutely no clothing at all. We need these curtains because we have a piece of glass lodged inside of our groin. We're gonna go ahead and rip this sheet up, that way we can fix this cut in our groin by pulling the glass shard out with our bare hands, which makes absolutely no sense Oh, I'm on fire and I don't even realize it. That's why my health drastically started going down. But it will not be that easy to kill Gustavo Drunkard. So we do actually need to worry about the piece of glass wedged in our groin, and uh, that's a big deal. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a curtain, rip it into sheets. Then we're gonna need to uh, pull the glass shard out with our hand, which I don't exactly think you wanna grab a glass shard with your hand because that would kinda cut your hands quite badly but we're gonna bandage it up with those ripped sheets and the fire is already spreading into the room that I am in. So we already have lost the starter house and we are still sneezing. We also are starting off with a bunch of Moodles. We have soaking, sniffles, pain, utterly faced and a slight wind chill. We are currently drunk out of our minds. We probably don't even realize that our house is burning down. So it's unfortunate, but let's go ahead and head over to the second house here and hope that we can find a good beginning there. There is only one zombie, and let's go ahead and try and kill her then, I guess, even though I don't really want to. Oh, and I just was bitten already. We're gonna try and salvage what we can. Mainly the shoes is the most important thing to grab right now. And, uh, oh, we are on fire. Oh, nope, we're on fire again. That's already a game over. Oh, no, not like this. No. Oh, dear. This is a lot of zombies. Now, eventually, we're going to run out of the ability to run from... Oh, this is a lot of zombies. You're probably asking yourself, why is a new player trying to do the CDDA challenge? Well, a good question is trial by fire. It's a good skill to be able to burn yourself and re-image yourself through failure. Failure is not a bad thing, it just means you're learning. So by failing many times after many times, one day you will learn to become a good survivor in Project Zomboid. But will that be today for me? Unlikely. But through many failures, I will one day become very good at the game and survive many, many years. Now I have lost the ability to sprint, and uh, this looks like it might be the end of my run. And after a long time of trying to avoid death, I simply welcomed it because there was nothing else that I could do in this cruel world. All right, this time poor Gustavo is going to survive. So we're gonna grab these canned foods and get out of the fire before it burns us alive. Oh, no, we're already dead. No, Gustavo, you were supposed to live this time. You were supposed to live. You were supposed to be glorious. Gustavo has been reincarnated once more, with this time the odds looking in his favor. Will he stay alive or will he die trying to live? All of the food is rotten, but that is fine because we don't need good food. Grab this curtain, go ahead and rip it. We've got some painkillers here. That is very good because we're in a lot of pain. Um, we also have a sewing kit. If there is a needle in there, we are set. There is nothing in the sewing kit. Well, that that's that that's fine. That's just fine. All right, we're gonna pull the glass shard out with our hand. Probably cut our hand and um, heal up the wound. There we go. Bandage it with the ripped sheets. All right, we are in pain, but we are now bandaged. Things may be okay. It is so cold. Well, I didn't exactly want it to be freezing cold. I didn't ask to burn my house down. Um, there is a tent peg. Can I use that for anything? I don't even think I can actually. So uh, get rid of those. Scrap electronics, garbage. All right, nothing of value inside of our burning down garage, sadly. Let's try and head over to the second house. Oh, we've got visitors. 
Could you, uh... What, do you think you'll die from the fire? I'd like to, uh, push you into the fire, if you don't mind. Oh, this is getting a very hairy situation. It is time to leave. Already off to a very difficult and bad start. I would, uh, I would hope the speed that it kills me, uh, you zombies might die to the fire, if you don't mind. You could. It's up to you. Oh, there was a guy there. There were two of them there, actually. All right, let's try and just circle these guys up and take them back to the first house and we try to lose them there. Did I leave the window open? I do not remember, so I don't want to go that way. I did, so I could have potentially lost them there. All right, the garage door seemed to preoccupy them, so we are starting with a clean slate. Let's take just a moment to glance in our kitchen. I don't see anything of value, so I see a lot of zombies that way. I now see value within this burnt down sanctuary. Oh. Well, let's try this method then. If there's a lot of zombies, let's just start screaming and um, do things a little bit differently than we've been doing. I'm only a naked man, simply just outpacing zombies um, by a couple steps while being sick with a shard of glass being pulled from my groin. I probably don't feel that great, but this will be fine. It's all fine. We lit the zombies back on fire again, so they might burn alive and die, to the best of our hopes. We're gonna cut through the house and around. Crouch and give it a little sprint. I vaulted into the burning house somehow. That was not part of my amazing plan. I didn't actually know that I could vault through burnt walls. I have learned that the hard way now. Hello there, my fellow man-eaters. Oh, I was grabbed and I have been murdered again once more. Take number 7,554. We are in a burning house once more. I must try to survive. As I journey out into the unknown, I hear zombies, and with zombies means I'm going to have to have a fight. This zombie wants to chase me, and I don't see any others around, so let's go ahead and get rid of her. And uh, I will now proceed to stomp on her face until she dies, which then I'm gonna equip her shoes and then I'm going to get away from this guy who has a gun on him. We sadly can't get any other clothes, but we have shoes. That means we're less likely to hurt ourselves walking on the ground, which in turn means we have upped our survivability. All right, we got the door shut on him. Let's take a minute and uh, check the kitchen. It'll take him a second to break through that. We'll put the food in our trash bag, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get this window open because we're going to need to evac this house. And uh, we'll go ahead and get out of the back. Now, um, I want to head to McCoy Logging more than likely because that's going to be an area where there's not that many zombies and I can get over this cold without having the constant threat of a zombie hearing me. However, uh, I'm unclothed and it's going to be a long voyage to get there. I have food. I have fixed my bleeding issue for now. And... Um, I kind of think that's my best options currently. We're gonna try and lose this man that is currently chasing me to my death. Oh, there is still a fire burning inside here. That is not what I wanted to see. Climb the window, my good friend. And we have been cornered. The zombie apocalypse is not for the faint of heart because we currently have a lot of zombies still wanting to eat my flesh for no good reason. That fence will slow them down for a second, giving me the ability to get ahead of them. I think we will attempt to lose them on this house, even though there's probably more zombies on the front side. And there most definitely is, and I have probably made my problem worse. Sticking to what I know and true, we're going to head through the woods and try and not die to any of these other zombies that try to stand in my way on my crusade. I will be slowed down by my feeble body, but I am also overweight, so therefore my body was always feeble. I believe I have a good chance of surviving this time, and uh, if I don't, well, then uh, I guess I'm going to die a horrific death again. But there are plenty of zombies that would like to eat me. Oh, there is a, there's a garden right there, and uh, that could be extremely useful for me. I'm just going to go ahead and shout, because I think that has the same rate as uh, coughing at this point. I don't think there's any difference. So I want to try and get away. But that is proving to be quite a difficult task. Currently, the entire town is coming for me. The more I go into the town, the more I realize that the town is not an option in survival of this map. 
so we need to avoid the town and go far away from civilization. This is a rather difficult task when we're naked and also can't seem to walk that well, but I do think that we can make it if we just stick to our plan. Though our plan does mean I have to cross through town, and uh, the main street of the town is probably going to have more zombies than the entire map, and uh, that is a scary idea. Here is the first main road, so we're going to find out how bad this is. We're probably going to get grabbed there, but we managed to weave through, and it looks like we are golden. If we can make it into the woods, we may have a shot at survival. I'm going to go ahead and enable walk through, and uh, I'm going to tell myself to walk and just simply speed up time. We're probably going to get scratched doing this, but um, a scratch is better than a bite. I don't even know if I can lose them considering that I'm coughing, so this could be all for nothing but we want to do our best to survive indefinitely because that is what Project Zomboid is about. The story of how you died. With the standpoint that I'm able to walk without them catching up, that's probably a good sign. There's a few zombies in the woods, of course, that are going to want to eat my skin, but we just have to keep moving and avoid them and they will not be a problem. Well, it would seem that we are coming up on a large area. That would be McCoy Logging. And there are more zombies here than I thought there would be, actually. I thought we might be able to be safe here. But it would seem that there are hordes. So, um, I guess this plan did not work out after all. Oh, there are tons of zombies here. Okay, McCoy logging is definitely a no-go. Not sure if we can outrun this horde and lose them. Oh, nope, we're gonna get bit and taken down right there. Well, another run ended. All right, there we go. That is the glass shard taken care of. We've got ourselves uh, banished up. Now we can move out and head towards the next objective that I have. This time we're gonna head south instead of heading north. I've tried to head north every single time, so let's try and do something different because doing the same thing a million times is just insanity. We actually seem like we might've got lucky this time, so I'm gonna get inside here and see what we got going on. We'll go ahead and put a t-shirt on real quick. And we've got one guy, hopefully only one. And uh, we'll just hopefully step on him till he dies. Then we're gonna grab his shoes, shirt, go ahead and get those shoes on. And now we get out of here. Now we've got some jeans. We've got stuff to take care of ourselves. We don't have much food. We didn't get to check that kitchen, but I don't really want to at the moment. So we're just gonna keep heading away from here and try and get to a deserted area. I want to be in the wilderness to kind of heal, is my concept. Let's actually... Since we managed to get shoes, I'm going to uh, be a little cocky here. Now we're going to quickly just check their loot and see if there's anything we want, and there is not. So I'm going to equip these jeans now. Why are we still... Okay, we're just in pain because we're in pain. All right, check all these containers. I don't see anything worth my time. Check the bathroom cabinet, nothing. Now we're gonna go out this window right beside the door. That way we're not on top of him. And now we're gonna keep moving. Oh, that is a hand ax. Actually, um, I'm gonna risk fighting her because if we could kill her and get that ax, that would be really good for us actually. So we managed to get a hand ax. Um, that is actually extremely good. We're going to equip that as our primary. And now we're going to get a group of zombies on us like this. We're going to need to lose them. Um, so I'm going to take them down to this house here, loop around, and get out of here. We're going to quickly do some sprinting. And that should get them off on the house. So now we just need to keep going away from that house. Kind of pointless to fight with the axe right now. This is for later. But if we have to, it will come to be helpful. Right here is the house that has a big fence around it. Nice compound area inside of there. But we are going way further. I'm going to go ahead and click walk to here. And we're just going to click walk. Um, apparently it's going to run us into zombies for whatever reason. I'm not exactly sure what's happening with that. But um, all right. Now we're going to want to take a right or left hand turn from our character's perspective here. This will take us to the train station. Um, the train station is where we're going to lose any extra zombies that we have on us right now. Um, assuming that we have a bunch, probably. Okay, that's an empty loot box. Is there a zombie on this door? There it was. Okay, yep. We needed to get 
past all these guys, just avoid them and keep moving. That will hopefully allow us to just ditch every zombie that was on our tail, and now we can get away in style. Now, I've been playing Project Zomboid for over a month now, and um, this is my first attempt on the CDDA challenge, and I have taken everything I've learned when hit the fan in my normal games, and generally, when the cities become overrun and you can't handle things, the only option you have is to retreat. Well, right now, I am retreating into the woods. I think this might be it right here. So we're gonna just cut into the woods, kind of go over here. There should be an abandoned cabin um, over here in the woods. If I didn't get off, I think I got off too early looking at this actually. Oh, nope, right here it is. All right, there we go. We managed to get to the abandoned cabin. Now, we should be okay to um, mend ourselves here. And there probably will be a zombie in here, but we'll close this up. Unlock the door. Now, no zombie? I wish I knew how to uh, get rid of the walk to thing once I have it up. Okay, so nothing there. And uh, we do have a kitchen sink right here. And um, we do have the ability to drink water. However, the water is turned off, so we only have a limited amount. Let's go ahead and equip a plastic bag in our secondary. That'll give us a nice um, carry on. Equip the watch, and we will go ahead and put a sheet on this window as well, since I have one. Um, I did need this to be... Oh, I can't get to that one. Never mind. All right, now... We don't exactly have the food. Oh, we do actually. So let's go ahead and we can't sleep, so let's rest. We're gonna go ahead and rest, sneeze. This will hopefully help pass the sickness. Um, let's go ahead and do I have, let's go ahead and tear this sheet up actually. And um, now we're gonna remove the bandage. We'll probably be infected, we're not yet. Okay, that's a good thing. We have a deep wound. Now, in order to fix that, we're gonna need a needle and thread. Um, but sadly, that's going to be a pretty hard thing for us to get. So I'm going to go ahead and pass the time. We're well rested now. Let's replace the bandage again. We want to try and avoid an infection that we now have. So never mind, we are infected. And um, let's go ahead and also open canned carrots. And um, let's eat these. And let's eat all of them because we are hungry and we have survived so far. There we go. Um, so we have a nasty cold. We have discomfort, pain. Um, things are not looking the best for us in that sense. So now we need to plan out our next objective of what we're going to do. Well, the plan is, is I think the best method to get rid of our cold is to um, actually make it so it's warm. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and drop my grocery bag on the ground. And I'll also drop the tin can. And let's go ahead and put the food down inside the cabin. Because if we kind of, if we lose the cabin, we are we're already lost, right? So let's go ahead and then we're gonna chop this tree down. This will probably be a bad idea because it'll bring zombies here or something like that. But we're just gonna go for this, chopping down these trees like a madman. Chop, 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 chop. Bam! We got four logs and a branch. So let's collect this. Grab all of these logs and we are going to open this oven. Put all the log, wait, no, that's not how it works. We need to add fuel. Wait, why is it all? <laughs> add fuel, we're gonna add all of the logs. So I just thought of a core problem. I need matches or a lighter in order to run this fire and I was thinking we could get here and kind of heat ourselves up and sleep and mostly just hang around until, well, we heal a little bit and stuff, but that doesn't look like that's gonna be the case because I didn't think about how this would work out. So. We're gonna have to um, equip this plastic bag in my secondary, and we just have to go, and we have to hope that we are going to be able to survive. Unless I could forage for food. I'm not sure if I could. That might be something I should have looked at. Um, I don't know if that's even possible. However, there should be a town with a diner down this way, so we might be able to uh, do some playing around and obtain a lighter or matches, maybe. Now, we're gonna attract all the zombies in the neighborhood, so we need to be careful and swift in our attack. There's a barbecue down there. That could be a good source of lighters or matches and so on. Let's go ahead and close that. 
Were these all abandoned? I've never actually came to this part of Muldra. They have all gathered into a ball over there, so we want to try and avoid that situation. I really wish there was an alternative fire method, like a uh, wood and rope like variant fire starter or something like that. Ooh, I'd actually really like this gear. Ah, uh, I'm not going to be able to loot those boots. I wasn't fast enough. At least we are well rested, so we don't have a problem of running out of our stamina for a little bit here. Um, the medical kit I got, we need to look at it. Um, can I see its contents? I don't think I can, actually. Unless I can unequip the... Okay, and then equip this as my secondary, and then we can open it, and it's empty. That's... that's... that's good. That's, that's really good. An empty first aid kit. That'd be too easy if we could just have a first aid kit with a suture. Well, I don't think we're going to find a match or a lighter down here. That's kind of a looting thing. So we'll either get lucky and find one or we would not at all. I'm going to make a last ditch effort idea here and uh, actually switch seats into the driver's seat. Ah, it's a red engine and a red battery, so that car is a no-go. The CDDA challenge actually feels like there's less loot in the world than in normal. It may actually be a real thing that there is less loot than in a real uh, survival game. I'm not sure. If so, that is kind of interesting. Just adds to the difficulty, I suppose. Well, and just like that, we managed to make it back to our cabin. And with that, I've learned a lot, honestly. CDA taught me many things. It taught me that zombies in large numbers are very deadly, which I did already know that, but this added a unique twist to it. I learned how to evade them and how to thrive. Not really how to thrive, because currently I can't even light a fire inside of this cabin, but I am alive for another day, and that is what truly matters. And with that, that'll be the end of this video, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and until the next one, take care.